COVID has undeniably taken a toll on our sleep, but how are our dreams impacted with so many people working from home? Sleep expert, Dr. Raj Dasgupta is here to weigh in. Welcome back, my friend. How are you, Dr. Raj? Hello, and hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing, Drew? I'm doing okay, but I, I like what we're gonna talk about, work invading our sleep. So tell us about the recent study you examined how work invades our sleep. Well, you know, Drew, pandemic or no pandemic, work is such a big part of our lives. You know, all of us, no matter what job we do, is stressful. And you know what we do? We bring that stress home. We bring it to the bedroom, which is a big no-no. So when I read this new study about, hey, that your work is causing to have those bad dreams that are affecting your sleep, I am not surprised at all. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, we've had those crazy dreams about tra taking tests, taking board exams, uh, <laughs> yeah. dreaming about surgeries that I'm going to do. I mean, that makes your sleep very stressful. What can we do? Well, you know, I think the first thing is I want to let everyone know that you dream in all stages of sleep, you know, and there's two broad stages, non-REM and REM. And non-REM stands for non-rapid eye movement. And that's a dream, you know, and it's kind of like a little fuzzy and you don't know what it is, like a VHS movie versus these REM dreams are very vivid. And you know what? You have these REM dreams closer to the morning, which is why many people wake up when we talk about uh, having a dream at night. And there are a difference between just having a bad dream and actually having a nightmare. It doesn't have to be about being chased by Freddy Krueger down a hallway or something. But when you got a nightmare, you know, that's usually going to be the one that's going to be in a REM state sleep. It's going to be vivid. They're usually going to be scary, but you wake up. Then if you want to graduate to the word disorder, then that means not only you're having the nightmares and you're waking up, you can't go back to sleep. You develop that secondary insomnia. And you know what happens is that you're going to be sleep deprived at work and you're going to get yelled at even more. So it's going to be that vicious, vicious cycle. And we got to break it. So what can we do? Well, easier said than done, but don't bring your job home to you. Don't bring it in the bedroom, you know. But I would say that, hey, as you're transitioning into sleep, Maybe do things that can relax you a little bit. Maybe some yoga, maybe some meditation, maybe some muscle stretches. And, you know, don't put things that are going to get you kind of scared and set you up for nightmares at night. So don't be watching some of these shows that, are, you know, are, are set up for nightmares. Like, what is it? Squid Games, you know? Right. But <laughs> one thing I do think I'm a big fan of is journaling and i'm not saying when you have a nightmare wake up in the middle of the night and start journaling but in the morning jot down those dreams jot down those nightmares why because maybe you can confront the nightmare or dream or maybe you can stay away from it or just figure out who's giving you a rough time at work and of course on top of that maybe you want to write down hey what did you eat that day or how did you exercise or lack of and all these things will help you eventually get a better night's sleep and obviously avoid things that may trigger you right before you're going to go to sleep. I mean, if you look at your phone and you know that there's going to be work-related uh, stuff on the phone, okay, sometimes you, you do have to look at the phone. But if, if you know something is there and it can wait till the next day, that's probably better, right? Oh, you're spot on. And that's why we always say, hey, put technology away. I'm not worried about you just actually uh, listening to one song, but then you're right, it's that email from your boss. Then all of a sudden you start ruminating about you're not gonna get enough sleep. So we're on the same page, Drew. Let's put that technology away. Right on, Dr. Raj.